ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 2nd of May. I'm James Spann. We're getting set to uh, kick off the weekend with a potentially stormy day tomorrow. Let's uh, look out the window this morning with some sky cam shots at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. Down below, that's Highway 280. Wouldn't it be nice if it looked like that all day with no traffic out there? That's the view from the Wingate Inn, our Inverness Sky Cam. Up the road, downtown Birmingham looking good there from the top of the Daniel Building looking north. And from East Alabama, there's our Cheehaw Sky Cam. We're looking uh, south from the top of the restaurant there at Cheehaw State Park. Active weather this morning in advance of that whopper of an upper low coming out of the Rockies. Big storms firing on the uh, east side of that thing. Here's a better look at that on radar. Those storms running all the way from southeast Oklahoma up to about the Fort Smith, Arkansas, up to uh, Columbia, Missouri, and up into southern Iowa. Severe thunderstorm watches cover much of Arkansas and Missouri in advance of that through 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, here's the day one convective outlook. Look at that. Moderate risk of severe weather today from uh, near Greenville, Mississippi, and Vicksburg up to uh, places like Memphis and Little Rock and Paducah, Kentucky, Springfield, Illinois. Surrounding that, a slight risk all the way from uh, uh, central Louisiana up to Milwaukee and Detroit. And that does include the uh, northwestern corner of Alabama, as those storms will likely ease in here late tonight after midnight. And then tomorrow, there's a slight risk of severe weather for most all of Alabama and parts of the adjacent states. And we'll just see how it all pans out. Uh, uh, we'll show you here in model output just a moment. QPF map still suggesting about one inch of rain. That looks good. Uh, that will be falling here uh, between now and uh, tomorrow evening. And then after that, we'll be dry Sunday through uh, Tuesday of next week. This is the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. There's the upper low northwest of the state at the surface. The surface low is underneath that near Des Moines. And during the day today, most of the action will stay west of here. We think the day will be generally dry. Uh, any showers this afternoon should be rather isolated and mainly west of I-65. Tomorrow, the upper trough uh, begins to uh, open up and lift north into Canada. Uh, the better dynamics will be a little north of here, but... Having said that, we'll still have a good, healthy, robust band of showers and storms. The surface low is uh, beginning to weaken as it moves up into Canada. And what's going to happen, we think we'll have a weakening band of showers and storms uh, in here during the pre-dawn hours. And the determining factor of the severe weather is, uh, you know, can we see any sun breaking out after that uh, early morning convective out uh, activity and heat things up for the afternoon for redevelopment? Uh, there's the instabilities. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, and a little sliver of uh, capes of about 1,000 joules. Now, if it stays cloudy all day and rains much of the morning, that will probably kill off any big chance of severe weather. But again, if the early morning convection dies off and we get some breaks in the cloud cover, it could be a pretty stormy afternoon. The helicity values are, quite frankly, not that impressive, and it seems to be a bit out of phase with the better veering away from the better instability. So as opposed to a tornado threat, it could be the greater threat would be from uh, strong straight-line winds. But we'll see. Uh, we'll just get in there and watch the radar and be aware that we could see some rough weather tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, we go dry. Should be a beautiful day. A little cooler. Monday of next week looks good. Maybe down in the early four, uh, upper 40s Monday morning. Uh, Tuesday, weather looks okay. New surface low developing over the Texas Panhandle. Wednesday, that low uh, scoots north of us, and there's a trailing front there, and that might uh, kick off a shower over the Tennessee Valley Wednesday, if this is correct. From the moment, we don't have rain in the forecast. If that keeps up, we'll have to insert that chance, mainly north of Birmingham. And then Thursday, the lead low lifts out, leaving a weakening front here. And that would suggest a chance of uh, maybe a shower there with that front. And then Friday, a second impulse moves along the front with a better chance of showers and storms. So... The uh, latter half of next week looking a bit unsettled. Four days later, look at the trough over the east. Wow. Yeah, if that's right, that'll be uh, cooler than usual for mid-May. And on the 17th, that trough lifts out. We get under a flat ridge. 
and that would be kind of warm and muggy. But again, the consistency has not been good out there in those longer ranges. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.